And the first one is from at Andy underscore Mies. He says, with the Tribe's lack of consistent clutch hitting, do you feel Ty Van Berkleo should be on the hot seat? No, I really don't think so, Andy, and here's why, and I'll tell you, and, and again, um, you know, I, I, I'm not down there during uh, BP every day or during the hitters' meetings, but I will say this. I think it's always the easy way out to blame the hitting coach and fire the hitting coach when the hitting struggles, fire the pitching coach when the pitching goes bad. I just mentioned Carlos Santana. I'm going to use him as a case in point. Uh, to me, Carlos Santana never, ever makes adjustments. Now, you can blame that if you want on Ty Van Berkleo. Uh, again, his swing is long. I think he, uh, a lot of times, will get himself in ill-advised counts with runners in scoring position because Santana has a way a lot of times. I, I know he draws a lot of walks. But he has a way a lot of times at swinging at pitchers' pitches that are balls out of the strike zone, getting himself down in the count, and then uh, making himself about a 150 hitter when he's at 0-2 and 1-2 and, and and in a count. So I just I can't all just lay – hitters have to, pitchers have to. You know, players have to be accountable. I can't imagine that Ty Van Berkleo has not suggested, hey, Carlos, you know what? Your way isn't working. You're hitting under 220. You're hitting under 200 with runners in scoring position. We've got to shorten you up, meaning shorten his approach at the plate, shorten his swing, do something with that high leg kick trigger mechanism. But it's incumbent upon Santana to want to do that, is it not? I mean, you know, Ashley, so that's I, – I kind of bristle at always, let's fire the coaches, the hitting coach, the pitching coach. Players have got to want to make adjustments, and I'm sorry, I don't think Carlos Santana is very want to. And if he is, he sure hasn't shown it in his approach at the plate. And you're right, because Jason Kipnis can do it. Why can't some others, right? And you're, you cannot always blame the coach, like you said, because we would never have a coach here that would ever say, I don't think, if we were always trying to blame them. As we know, we kind of go through coaches pretty uh, easily here in Cleveland. We, we've done this before, and I mean, uh, back in, uh, what was it, 2004, I believe, Eddie Murray was fired in the middle of the season as the Indians hitting coach because of the perception that it was Murray's ideals that were askew and I mean I, again at some point that's the easy way out I don't buy it players have to start to realize when they're not going well and you know this isn't just for uh, a couple of weeks you know Carlos Santana his average and have, has come down dramatically this is three years in a row that everything is in this kind of trend do something about it and make the type of adjustments you need to and start understanding what you have to do to me be a more complete hitter. It's obviously got the talent or you wouldn't be at the major league level, but the approach at the plate has got to change.